Don't look, don't look, must stay focused. It's on clearance, but I gotta stay on task, so let's keep moving, guys. So hard! Hey guys, welcome to Visual Reviews. My name is Joe, and I'm gonna be testing out a product that went viral a few months back, and that is a shower head. Now, it's not any ordinary shower head. This shower head is supposedly supposed to clean your water from all those harmful chemicals and help you have a cleaner shower experience. And to be honest, when I was a kid, I literally drank water through a garden hose, and I know that water was not filtered. But that's besides the point. So this product is definitely an Amazon product review because I did order it off Amazon. And guys, when I ordered this product, one day later, it arrived at my house. One day. Now that is very efficient. So A plus plus on the whole shipping process. Phenomenal. But let's go ahead and get into this product. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this package. So let's take this package out. We'll set that off to the side. And this is where the shower head is in this box. Now, the brand name is Kobe. Have I ever heard of that? No, but I'm pretty sure they just slapped it on there and just wanted to sell it real quick. So let's just go ahead and open the box. So we, we open the box right off the bat. I can see there's a 1.5 meter chrome plated hose. Now we definitely gonna need this because we want the water to go through the shower head properly. So we're gonna go ahead and set this off to the side. Then we also see the shower head. Now also we see bubble wrap. And I'm definitely gonna pop this later. So I'll go ahead and set that off to the side. But the shower head, just looking at it, it looks very cheap. And honestly, it's really thick plastic. And I see that there's brown pellets and gray pellets, so I'm assuming that the water goes through here, then filters it and comes on out. And you're supposed to have clean water. So I do see that, so that is definitely as advertised. I do see the LED lights here, so there is no battery placement. So I'm assuming that when the water touches it, it then will have the LED illuminate. And we'll definitely put that to the test. And the, here's the sad part guys i really don't see any mode changes and really most shower heads these days have at least three mode changes so that's really a downside on that so we're gonna go ahead and set that to the side what i also notice here in the box is i see thread tape now guys thread tape is literally definitely needed because I remember way back when, when I was putting in a faucet, I did not use any thread tape and there was water everywhere, literally. So the job took way longer than it should and I learned the hard way. So I'm actually glad they have this with the package and we're definitely going to use it. So we'll set this off to the side. And then I see here, there's a little card and it says extended 12 month warranty. And to be honest, if my shower head breaks, I'm just gonna go buy a new one. I don't think I would really go through the hassle and doing all the paperwork and then sending it in and then getting a new one. It, to be honest, it's just much easier to just go get another shower head. So, but it's there, it's in the box. And then also I see here, there's a pamphlet. There's a pamphlet that says all the colors here demonstrated. And then it also has instructions in the back with even a QR code. And okay, so it looks like they are actually missing a holder for the shower head. Now, that is a downside because what do they expect me to do? What, let it hang? I mean, seriously, come on. So I don't know if this was supposed to come with it or they just forgot to put it in, but I really don't see it anywhere, so. That's sad, so we're gonna have to go to the hardware store. So let's go ahead and go to the hardware store.
hey guys, it looks like that we found it here, and it's not cheap, is $10. So, got it right here, and we're gonna go ahead and put it inside my bathroom, and it's becoming very expensive, so something that they should have done this prior and should came with, so. Let's go ahead and get back to my house so we can put that back on. So let's go guys. This is what happens always when I get stuck at Lowell's is I end up trying to buy one of these. It's so hard not to get distracted. Don't look. Don't look, must stay focused. It's on clearance, but I gotta stay on task, so let's keep moving, guys. So hard! All right guys, so we just got done putting in that shower head and everything went well. Now the only thing is, is that I wanna make sure that the filtration system is actually working. And so what I have in front of me is this was before I replaced the shower head. So this is unfiltered water. This one is filtered water through that shower head. And this one is bottled water. Now what we're going to use is something called a TDS meter. Now it stands for total dissolved solids. So this will actually help us to understand and see if it actually filters the water. So let's go ahead and test the unfiltered water before we replaced it. So we have 274. Now having it between 150 to 250 is good and anything above that is not good at all and 150 to 50 is excellent. So this one obviously unfiltered water, the water is definitely not good. So we're gonna go ahead and test the shower head now to see if it actually filtered the water. We dip it in there, 275, guys. So actually it looks like it didn't even filter the water. That is terrible. All right, now this one here is bottled water. So we're gonna make sure that actually this meter works. So we're gonna dip it in there and we have 19. So obviously the bottled water is filtered. Now, unfortunately for that shower head, it really doesn't do as advertised. And so that's unfortunate. So overall, this product is a huge dud and it's a gimmick. So the only thing that's actually pretty cool was the LED lights and everything beyond that is just, I wouldn't recommend this product by any means. So that concludes the product testing on that shower head and there's gonna be definitely more products that I'm going to be testing and if there's one in particular that you want me to test, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll do what I can to get that product so we can test it and see that if it's legit or a gimmick so remember to go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell notification because next week i'll be posting another video regarding another product see you then guys